Or at least I'm generating more iron slowly than I have been before. It still needs power, though, so... It's a big problem. Like, I really need some sort of a generator that just naturally generates power. Here we go. This is what I, I'm thinking about a little bit. Good lord, that's ex... Well, actually, it's not that expensive looking. It's, it's pretty expensive looking, that's for sure. But the benefits are way higher than... Than you think. I don't know where I can get ink sacks, though. I guess I can make some. You see, if I make this device, it's pretty cheap, actually. Oh. No, it still might be pretty cheap. If I make this zero point extractor, what a zero point extractor does is it just creates power. I don't really understand it 100%, but I think it literally does generate power from nowhere, which means my system could run by itself as well as my entire base, potentially, could run off of it by itself. I'm not 100% sure. But there's plenty that can be done. So, I might want to consider making one of those. I haven't made one of those in a long... In fact, I've never made one, I don't think, but... I did try and find out what it did. So... Uh... I'm gonna need a spot for this. Um... Add it uh, Just take one of these blocks. No one's going to miss it. Put it right there. Add. And then I need... I need iron. Okay. Microscope. Sure, why not? Is this good? Maybe I should put it on the floor. Even though it's a bit weird. Right there. Sure, why not? I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. It feels cheap somehow. It never feels like it's quite right. Alright, so... Put in the journal... Put in leather. Now it understands that. Uh, unfortunately, though... I don't think it's going to... understand the breakdown of that material. So I need to make that to figure it out. And it's a 20%... Wait, is it a 20% chance for one of them to make it? And that's enough to make five. I might have just figured out how to make infinite leather. Well, there goes that. <laughs> I wanted to see what it would do. I didn't get anything from that, though, so... I'm probably going to cheat myself back for leather and then never do that again. Um, because that was a mistake. Okay, so never doing that again. I hate it when it says that there's, I don't know, that seemed like a good chance, and yet I still failed each one of them. Alright, but the thing is I can teach this all sorts of recipes, and then just kind of pull them out of nowhere. So, things like cobblestone, uh, block, I can't do quartz apparently, paper. Actually, that would be, that would be kind of cheaper because then I don't need to use the, um, the other thing to break it down. Because if I'm putting paper, but of the stuff that makes up paper, because the trees break down to the same stuff. 
then I could just use trees to do it. Um... So this is very interesting. It's really no use to... Why do I have glowstone torches anyway? Oh yeah, because there's nothing else that works in here. But I've already got past... Actually, no, I think I'm still using them. I really do need to break free from glowstone torches. I don't know, that works. That's fine. So it knows a few things. I thought I couldn't make anything. Oh, I guess it doesn't break down into that, though. That's fine. Whatever. So now, if I set it to leather... There we go. It'll look for creating leather. And it'll say you need that. And if you don't have it, then you don't have it. But... I could do things like iron, set it to iron, just throw it in there. And then if there was iron in here, I could just take out the iron. So if I could just teach this some of the things I make, then I don't have to type it in or put it together. So one of the things I definitely want to teach it is uh, some carbon nanotubes. I don't have enough for it, apparently. Uh, okay, apparently a meteor just landed right there. <laughs> or a creeper decided he really hates me. Both are possible. So there you go. This is what breaks down to, and that's what it combines to make it. So now, if I want to make sure I make carbon nanotubes, I could set that. Um, clear it out, and then there we go. Carbon nanotubes. I don't have to put in any more effort than just putting it in instead of clicking these in. And it's useful for some things, but not all things. Most of the stuff I don't need, like... But redstone it would be nice to do, perhaps. I wish I could scroll through it, though, while I'm in here, but I can't. Um, I have to actually pull it out and set it to what I want. There, there just seems like there could be so much more done to make that this mod better. Because, like, one of the problems is a lot of the stuff that you want to do with this requires a lot of interfacing. Like, I need, maybe I need some silver and some of this and that and this and that from all over the place. But coming back and forth with the elements specifically to make it is kind of annoying. It'd be nice if it could read from, like, a chest underneath it that could store all of the elements that you get. That way you could just use this book with a scroll bar would be nice or something. So I could actually sift through what I want. Like maybe have it display over here and click on the items. You know, that would be better. Because then I could click on what I want and have it set up here. And then just go through this system a whole lot faster than the back and forth I have to do for this most of the time. Eh, what are you going to do though? Like, this one doesn't need a sorting thing though. Because I can actually just pull stuff out of this. I never need to use this decomposer for anything else. But the synthesizer needs to be used much smarter, and really needs a lot more to it, because this is a massive bottleneck. Because sometimes it, I have to fill this thing up just to make one thing, like that leather. Potentially. The leather is pretty simple, though, because it's only like three different things. So... Yeah. Alright, well, uh, destroy this cactus. I really don't need leather on me, at least, though. So, I don't know. I don't know what else to do here. Uh, I don't know, I kind of want to make that robot, but it's not really that easy. Because right now I think I need a lot more redstone. No, I need cactus. Cactus is a massive annoyance. Because I need clay. If only I could make dust. 
and I can't make I can't really be working on clay because the problem is it requires stone that I can't really get a hand on. I don't know. I guess I could make it this way, I don't know, it's just, it's a bit annoying, but I suppose I could. Uh, do I have any clay on me, though? I think I might be out of clay completely. Oh no, I got one. So now, I'll teach the book. How to make clay. Okay. Now the problem is I do need to teach it, however, how to make that material. Because it doesn't know how to make it. Um, so I need... Some aluminum and stuff like that. So, two aluminum, two silicon. Five oxygen. Actually, I had some silicon right here. Okay, so silicon. Oxygen, uh, it's the aluminum that, that's getting me. Okay, so two aluminum, what? Two aluminum, two sil silicon, and five oxygen, something else. What was that? That was like HO or something? OH4, okay. O H, what are you doing? Don't do that to me. O H. Okay, so there's O H four, some aluminum. Now I want to teach this system how to make that though. Okay, so now it knows how to make those. Okay, so now aluminum to silicon is it four? No, two. Two, two, five, okay. I think I did that wrong. And then two of these. Was it? No, it's four of these. There we go. So make one of these, and then teach it to make it. And now hopefully I can use this in some sort of smart way. So, click on clay. No. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, so well, there's OH, I can put that in here and then tell it to make OH and then just kind of go through the motion of making clay from there. Okay, so there's 16. And select the next one and hopefully have enough to make some of these. Then just put in that. So there we go. It's a little bit easier, but it still kind of sucks. That's fine, though. That should give me something I can do, because I need to get more parts and stuff. But now I can make clay the old-fashioned way. Um...
Get the fan is redstone involved. No? What was it? It was, um... Oh, cactus. Oh, no. Did I destroy the two cactus I had? I think I did. Oops. <laughs> well, I don't feel like... Well, actually, I could probably build it back up, because this is only... I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. I'm sure I've grown a few cactuses. I just have to make sure to save them from themselves. Mission accomplished. So now, if I use the cactus here, I'll get my cactus green and I can make the roll up pieces. Uh, you know, at the end of this, I'm going to find that this robot's useless. <laughs> That's just going to be the worst part of it. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it'll be useful, maybe not. I'm starting to get real lazy on my sorting. Alright, so two printed chips. I don't know why I did that. Uh... So I need... one of these. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Paper. Redstone, two gold, three iron. Make... I wanted to make two of them, but apparently not. Because I'm sure I'm going to need another one for something. Um... Okay, so there's a part of a microchip. I need a low-level microchip, so I need iron broke down again. Two redstone. A transistor. So there's a microchip. Um, a card base. Um, and a redstone torch. Why am I making this? <laughs> it just occurred to me. I don't really need one of these. I'll probably need it for RAM, though, so it might be an okay thing that I made it as far as I did. I don't know. Uh, I'll put that away for now. I I already st I immediately went towards making a mistake. I need one of these things. This does not look pretty. Of course I do. Of course I need more of those darn things. That takes paper, doesn't it? God dang it. Okay, so, one of these. Good. There's so many gold nuggets. That should hold me for a little bit. I'm going to need more paper soon, too, so I might want to make some of that. Uh, okay, so... That... 
Alright, X. I made too many, didn't I? I'll need another one for something else. It's no worries. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I need gold. Lots of gold. I need redstone. Lots of redstone. Because, why not? I need iron. Uh, because I need, I need dye, iron dye, there's a dye, dye iron, trioxide, is that what it would be? Don't tick that up. Okay, one of those. Teach it to the book. Then use the book to create it. Alright, good. As many as I can. I need more copper. Do I need more copper? No, I need more oxygen. There we go. So, iron oxide. Alright, and I need redstone, so there you go. 17 redstone. That should hold me for a little bit. Apparently I massive amounts of gold. I mean, computers never did use the cheapest materials, did they? But this ain't fair. So I need to make another clock. Luckily, though, it'll stack, I think, so... There you go. Um, need more nuggets. In fact, I might as well destroy the entire bar. Two of those. Two of those. That. I need three. I'm just messing up everything. So there's three of them. A redstone and some gold. Okay, cool. Uh, gold. And some redstone. Thanks. There you go. Control unit. Oh, lovely. <laughs> more of them. I need more paper now. Oh dear. I don't know what I'm doing. I definitely know while while we're away, I'm definitely gonna look up some more on this. I'm probably gonna find out everything I'm doing is wasting my time. But these pieces are still pieces, they're not really the robot yet, so I can't be messing it up too much yet. But I am worried about it. Because I might be messing it up. Uh, I need paper. So I can make more chips. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, well, things are getting done. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going at this point, but they're going somewhere. I used to think I knew where I was going. Now I have no clue. Hopefully it's to space. So I kind of need to go that way. What was it to make that superpower thing? I think I needed a lot of 
iron and coal. Um, what was it called? It was a. Uh, I think it had space time in it, so I could probably use that to my advantage. There it is. Zero point extractor. I haven't used nether quartz, but if I can get a few nether quartz, then I can get this done. Because I can make steel and nether quartz, no problem. But this requires the most. I should have enough gold to do some of this, and I, I think I can do this if I really put my mind on it. The diamonds are the worst part, but those should be doable, because I can get carbon. Um, the dark stone isn't so much of a problem. Uh, the nether quartz and diamonds are really the hardest part of this, but if I can get them... Then I can get this, and this would be this would be much more useful to me. But I need a lot because this is all iron too. But if I can focus on it right now, then I can get this system up and running. And what this means is that I can actually leave this alone because right now I have to sit next to this thing and keep working on it. But I can just set up some sand and the gravel, and then after that, just go through the process of coming back on every once in a while and checking up on what's getting stored, and ensuring this doesn't overflow. So, that's not too much of a problem. So I just do this, and then I ensure that we don't overflow. So there we go. Because this, this will fill up just fine for a while, and I wanted to worry about it, but it's still concerning all of this. So we'll see. Uh, uh, to, I'll see if I can focus into it. I'll look into it. Maybe I can get somewhere with that. Uh, ZP. Make sure I write that down. I'll look into it a bit more. See what I can do with it. Maybe I'll try it out in the test world. See if it does something. Because if I can get a power system here that just works from nowhere, then this will be the best system ever. Is it ever required somewhere? Yeah, there it is, right there. This little guy can create RF from nothing. It seems to have something to do with the fabrics of space, so placing it towards the core of a planet seems like it would make it work better. For some reason, probably best not to question science. So what, it's generating power from gravity itself? I mean, why not? <laughs> um, I don't know what height we're at, though, because this is the moon. So it might not be too great, but if it works at all, then that might be all it takes to do this job. I mean, I suppose it's possible I could just get a node transfer thing and then feed one of those. It's not very good power, though, that other device. You know, it's okay power, but I'm going to need more in this location, I think. I don't know. I was thinking I could take the cobblestone generator's power generation method, but... It's not very great. I don't know. So, I'm running out of time. So I think, I think I'm just going to focus on getting more materials. Hopefully a lot of iron. A whole lot of it. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can sort this out for over time or something. I'm going to create more gravel and put it into there. And... It's pretty much all for ore generation. Uh, I'm going to look up what computers do and stuff like that, see what I can do with them. Hopefully I can get a crafting table to kind of replace that system a bit and make it so it can work with all the materials, because every material that's getting put together there needs to be put together and not just stuffed away. Uh, as for everything else, I don't know. Um, I think that's really about it. Maybe I'll collect some some cactus and stuff like that, but that's about it. I don't think I can do anything else. And maybe the next time we get back, hopefully I'll have enough materials to start pushing into the rocket building some more and maybe get some dash ingots finally. But I don't know. We'll see. But I will see everyone in the next one.